Welcome to the Motivation Station. I have another math lesson for all of my St. Lucie County second graders. I hope you guys are ready for some learning. Let's get started. So the past few days, we've been discussing money and our goal is to be able to work with money. Money is super important learning how to count money, I should say. Um, it's really important to learn how to count your money so that if, what if you need to buy something in the store or what if you have bought something and you need to know how much change you get back or how much money to give to the clerk or maybe somebody borrowed money from you or you borrowed money from somebody else. Um, it's, it's just super important to learn how to count it. So that's our goal, to be able to work with money. Now, I have some anchor charts up here with our coins to reference, but I think you guys have that up here. So we're gonna do a quick review that this is a quarter and quarters are worth 25 cents. We have dimes that are worth 10 cents, nickels that are worth five cents, and pennies that are worth one cent. I have a set of coins here, and we can say that Gracie found these coins in her piggy bank and she's wondering how much money she has. Now, for those of you who cannot see that, I've also drawn it here. So you can either see it there or you can see your numbers. One of those is away. Let's fix that so we can see that a little better. Okay. So I would like for you to add these coins up and tell me how much money you think Gracie has. I'll give you a few moments. Either count on or you can draw your coins and put them in order from greatest to least. That may help you add them. I think Malia has an answer. If you have an answer, maybe whisper it to your sibling or your parent. Check, have them check to see if you have it right or hold it in really tight. I know you wanna yell it out to me. Malia, what do you think? How much money does Gracie have? 54 cents. She thinks Gracie has 54 cents. Let's count that out. I like to sort my coins first because that helps me keep it organized in my thoughts. And now I have it greatest to smallest. 25 plus 10, so 25 plus 10 makes 35. 40, 45, 50, because now those had me counting by fives. And now these are ones, 51, 52, 53, 54. So 54 cents. Suppose we cannot use the coins and we needed to draw it out instead. So if I have my drawing here on my piece of paper or on my whiteboard, but you would do this on your paper, you can write these coins in order from least to greatest or greatest to least. So we have 25 takes care of our quarter. We have any dimes here? I see one dime because that's worth 10 cents. Next, we would do our nickels. I see three nickels. Five, 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 two, three. And I see one, two, three, four pennies. One, one, one. One, and now let's cross those out so we don't mix those in. I can count 25, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So Gracie, it does have 54 cents. Malia was correct and I believe you guys were correct too. I hope so. Now, let's take a look at another problem. Actually, uh, yes, our other problem is here. John has four stacks of nickels. There are four nickels in each stack. How much money is this? So, in your stack of money, 
grab four stack or create four stacks of nickels with four nickels in each stack. One, two, three, four, five, nickels with four nickels in each stack and I would like to count those out to see how much money he has since they're all nickels we know everything here is just going to be counted by fives five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five fifty fifty five sixty 65, 70, 75, 80. So four stacks of nickels with four nickels in each stack makes 80, 80 cents. So there's another type of money or there's more money that we use called bills. And bills, we have dollar bills, $5 bills, $10 bills, $20 bills, $50 bills, and $100 bills. Today we're just gonna work with the ones. One dollar bill looks like this. This is the front. And notice the large ones on the side. And then the back says one in the center one on the sides. Also on the front, we have another picture of George Washington. And so this is a $1 bill. And 100 pennies is the same as $1 bill because 100 cents makes a dollar. Now, if I had 80 cents, let's think about what, Gracie, um, what our last problem had, 80 cents, and I want to get to a dollar, how much more money do I need? Hmm. Well, let's take a look. We had 80 cents. We're going to combine this. 80 cents. So since we have nickels, let's continue counting nickels until we get to 100. So 80. 85, 90, 95, 100. So now I have added more, more nickels in order to create 100 cents. I've added 5, 10, 15, 20. 20 cents to create 100, making that a dollar. Is there another way I can represent this 20 cents? Do we have other coins we could use? Let's see. I know that dimes are worth 10 cents. And if I count by tens, two tens makes 20. So is this amount of coins or is this 20 cents This have the same value as these four nickels? 10, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. They do. Both of these represent 20 cents. And since both of these represent 20 cents, I can add either of these to my set of coins that we already had to make a dollar, to make 100 cents. Is there one more way I could make 20 cents? Well, let's see. Could I use a dime and two nickels? I know a dime is 10, 15, 20. So there's another way to make 20 cents. So with these things, we not, with these three different ways, we were able to make 20 cents. Now stop and think, are there multiple ways to make amount, the same amount? Think back to what we just did. We made 20 cents three different ways. We actually, 
added those 20 cents to our 80 in order to make the dollar, but three different ways that we were able to make 20 cents. So when you're counting your money, you wanna look at all the different types of ways that you can create a certain amount of money. Let's think about a dollar. I told you that this is a dollar. We also just learned that 100 pennies is a dollar or we saw that we had all those nickels that made a dollar and then we added some dimes. So what about if I only wanted to do dimes? How many dimes would I need to be the same as this dollar? I'm gonna count out dimes until I get to 100 cents. Let's move our money over. 10, remember we're trying to make 100. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So now I have 100 cents. And this 100 cents is the same as this $1. And how many dimes did I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I needed 10 dimes to make a dollar. So guys, as for your practice, I would love for you to Think about all the different ways you can make coin combinations. Can you make different combinations to equal out to a dollar? Can you count coins? Ask maybe mom or dad or grandma to hand you a pile of coins and see if you can count out that and tell them. Ask them if you're correct. Um, tell your teacher. Maybe you can send your teacher a message in Canvas or on your Teams meeting and just say, hey, can you give me some coins to count? And practice. Make it into a game. There's so many different ways you can count your money. Just be sure to practice because practice makes progress. And that's what we want. We want to continue to practice so that we can get stronger at counting and being able to work with money. Until next time, I will see you soon. Bye.